the AFS Connect Magnum Series Tractor. Morning, everybody. What do you think of the new tractor? Looks pretty nice, right? <laughs> Welcome to the National Farm Machinery Show. Welcome to the Case IH booth, where it's uh, all about uh, high efficiency farming. I'm Bill Weber. I'm the High Horsepower Marketing Manager for North America. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the 2020 AFS Connect Magnum. Big Tractor Power is at the 2019 National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. We're here with Nate McGraw from Case IH and we're going to talk about the new Magnum series. We've got a nice looking 310 on display, all new for 2020 coming with new technology and advantages. Nate, what can you tell us about the tractor? Okay, so we've got the new AFS Connect Magnum Tractor and that's how we're actually, that's what it's named now. It's the AFS Connect Magnum Tractor and it's a whole new tractor that's got a ton of technology built into it. Right off the bat, the front of the tractor, you see a very similar look to the ACV, the autonomous concept vehicle that we launched in 2016 at the Farm Progress Show. And that's really to just symbolize what this tractor holds for technology and the direction we're going. You know, we're on the path of full autonomy, and this is absolutely a step in the right direction. So with that, we've got a lot of really nice features built into this tractor. We've done some changes to the outside of it as well. Um, one thing, I'll just start at the front, kind of walk around, walk around back. We have integrated camera into the hood. And we'll, they kind of, when we get up to the cab, we'll see it shows up on the yeah, dashboard we can, we, camera. We, on the we can show screen. it on the, on the armrest, but yeah, okay. we can absolutely show Very it. Very cool. We have, so we have two cameras um, factory mounted from the cab. We have it in the hood, and we have one on the back. And you have the freedom in this in this tractor to set this up how you want. So if you want, uh, you want the one on the back to come on just like your automotive truck or your vehicle back home, as soon as you put this in reverse, it'll pop up on the camera so you've got the ability to see out the back without having to turn around. Um, next, take a look at the spacers. So what we've done is we've got away from the can spacer and put this two-piece cast spacer in. That does a couple of things. For as far as installation goes, it makes it very easy because it's a cast piece that's then been drilled and tapped, so concentricity and fit is perfect. Secondly, it gets weight on the axle where we need it, so we eliminate the need to have the weight, the leverage weight out on the front of the tractor. As you look up the tractor, you'll see the new decal package, the tri-stripe tri -stripe decal, the AFS Connect uh, decal as well, and then the new 3D Case IH or emblem decal. As you see up on the cab, we've got some new mirrors, we've got LED beacons, we've got all LED light package on the, the receiver on the top of the cab. That's called the Vector Pro Receiver. The mirrors are a larger mirror. You can still have the ability to adjust every direction, but now you can also telescope from the cab. So if you're pulling into the field and you're working on the edge of it and you're coming up on some trees, you can telescope that in so you're not having them break away. We also have breakaway extremity lights. And those are LED as well. So some really nice upgrades to the, to the tractor. Let's go around the other side now if you don't right. mind. Next thing you see, we've brought our oil check and fill over here to the left side of the tractor as well. So we have now all of our serviceability, not only from the ground, but on the same side of the tractor now. So as, it, as the farmer shows up to the field in the morning, he can do his daily checks, hop in the cab and go. Also, we have fuel and depth fill from the, from the cab as well. And what kind of horsepower range are the Magnums uh, in this new range? So we go all the way down from 180 all the way up to 380. Same, same horsepower we, we've had in the prior okay. models. We've just added the technology package. Notice while you hop in the cab, we've eliminated the B post. We've got a full one-piece door now. Yeah, this is really nice for access. So as you sit in the cab, you get one of our, our value props, freedom from a dark and cluttered cab. We've brightened up the cab, we've opened the cab up, we've streamlined it, if you will, to allow you as the operator to customize your operating environment. So if you look around, we've got storage all over the place. We have a storage compartment down here. A great place to put uh, you know, some aerosol cans or prayer gloves that would otherwise be riding around the floor. Nice high back instructor seat so the guy's going to sit in here and do some training it's comfortable for him as well it's also positioned differently from the current production so there's more room for both operators we've got ventilation over here we've got ventilation on the other side we've also got ventilation on the floor now we've totally re redone our HVAC system in this cab 
to get not only more airflow, but airflow where the where the customers want and need it. And does that have like the dual climate where if it's kind of hot over here, the sun's beaming down, you've got the control to... It, does, it doesn't have dual climate, but it does have an, autom or an, autom an automatic setting mm -hmm. that will sense temperature rise and it'll, it'll increase your fan speed or do based on whatever your set temperature is. Okay. So it does have an automatic climate control. Back here, we've got another storage cabinet. Great place for your, your manuals and all that kind of stuff. One thing that's really nice in here, if you see back here, we've got a USB charge port. You'll see four of those in the cab today. And then we also have an onboard inverter with the 110 outlet. You have the ability to keep things charged up throughout the day. As technologically advanced as farmers are today, as many devices they carry, there's a lot of need for this stuff, and we actually, we've done a very good job of, of meeting that. So, if you come around here, why don't you kick your feet up on the Harley pegs? Okay. So we've, we've incorporated the ever popular feature out of the Steiger tractor and put it in the Magnum. So now you, as you spend the long hours in the tractor, you can kick your feet up and relax a little bit. Next notice, we've changed how you tilt and telescope the wheel. Currently, when you depress this lever, you tilt the wheel and you telescope it. What we've done now is made this a two-step system. So you turn this, telescope it, and then from now on, whenever you're tilting up out of the way, whether you're getting out of the cab or just running auto guidance, it's up out yep. of the way. You never Lots lose your telescoping position. Yeah, and you have a lot of room as an operator. Um, let's go over here to the A-post. We got rid of the A-post that was just big, kind of clunky, mm -hmm. took up a lot of space. Outdated, we've, we've updated it to our Viz, Viz2 monitor. And that's a monitor that gives pertinent tractor information to the operator that they would need to know at any given time. Fluid levels, temperatures, um, gear selection, direction of travel, engine speed, ground speed, the stuff that the operator needs to know as they're operating the tractor is always presented right here, freeing up more room on the Pro 1200 for information that you need as you're working through the field. So as you're sitting there, looks like somebody lowered the armrest, it's probably gonna be uncomfortable for you. So if you look around to the right here, you're gonna see two black cast aluminum levers. I see yep. them right there. If you raise the rear one, it's gonna raise the armrest. You raise it and it kind of pull up. Okay. If you raise the forward one, it's gonna move it in the fore aft direction. What we're doing here is we're giving the opportunity for a not a one size fits all cab. Everybody's different size, everybody's got different length arms, torsos, etc. So this lets the operator truly set this up so it's a comfortable working environment. Our headliner, we've moved the HVAC controls that were back on the right rear fender panel. Back there, we've replaced that with a bunch of storage area, uh, some more HVAC louvers, and USB. another USB charge port. So if you're keeping track, that's two to this point. I see it's got Sirius XM, which is Radio nice. with Sirius XM, and then we still have the tangible switches for the guy that likes to turn a switch on and off. Next, next let's take a look at the steering column itself. Notice again, we've got a lot, a lot of nice ventilation louvers. This cab does a fantastic job of keeping you keeping the climate controlled because you have it coming from all directions now. Next you see our different uh, tree posts for the lights, the wipers, turn signals, etc. Then you got your horn. Thank goodness somebody just turned that off so I didn't beep everybody. <laughs> um, we also have the new armrest and we'll get out of the cab and get down in, uh, in a simulator here in a second. I'll walk you through some more of that. But what you're going to find with this is we partnered with our um, partners at FCA to really bring not only a quality but an automotive quality feature to this. So as you touch some of the buttons you're going to see it's very similar to some of the stuff you're going to touch and feel in your pickup. We've got a whole new ergonomically redesigned multifunction handle. I'll go through some of that down there as well as new uh, uh, hydraulic um, levers and um, there is, a, I'll, show you on, I'll show you on the ground too as well, there's another USB charging port on the side of the armrest. If you look up here in the headliner, you're going to see a factory installed standard equipment ram mount slide. So if, as, as your customers, if they want to have a, a tablet in the, in the tractor or you know, a holder, uh, you know, a holder for their phone, there's a secure place to mount it. And then again, a third USB charging port. So you got one right here, one down in the right corner, one in the storage cabinet on the left corner, one on the side of the armrest, that's four 
USB charging ports and a 110 outlet. That's even better than my truck. That's right? very exactly. convenient. Exactly. But it is, I have to say, the cab is much brighter, it feels very roomy, and it's nice to have all this technology just yep. touch button that we'll see down on the ground on the demonstrator. So one more thing before we get down. Let's uh, I think your seats, yeah, you should be able to swivel. Go ahead and swivel your seat. Okay. Go ahead and swivel all the way. You're gonna see 40 degrees of seat swivel. So with that, we were now right on par with the Steiger platform. By moving the HVAC controls up into the headliner, we freed up a lot of space back there, allows that seat to turn. As implements get bigger, we're reducing operator fatigue by giving them that full 40 degrees of seat swivel so they can see the implement and not really have to strain to look around. So I'm gonna hop down, I'll see you down there, and we'll get the demo on the armrest. Thank Sounds you. good, thank you. So we're back here at, the, uh, at our simulator. What we've got here is we've got a seat, armrest, and Pro 1200 display from the cab. We've got it down on the floor so we can easily talk about it and discuss it. So right off the bat, you're going to see in our seat, the armrest, you've got air ride suspension, you've got heated seats, and you have also cooled seats. Very nice. Go ahead and sit in it. Okay. Have a seat. You'll also see as you sit down, the leather quality is outstanding. Again, more of a much more of an automotive feel. All right. So as you sit down, you see we got the Pro 1200 Live. We've got our armrest that we talked about, our multifunction handle. I'm gonna walk through all of it. So I will start down here, and then I'll move up in the Pro 1200. So okay. our new ergonomically redesigned multifunction handle. Set your hand on it like so. Get your thumb kind of rest on your gear shift. Now on a power shift, this is your gear up, gear down. On a CVX drive, it's your speed set. So as you see, I, when I push this, it's gonna select right up here, it's gonna select through your speed sets. So it's shifting through your speed sets on a CVX or on a power shift, it's gonna gear up, gear down. And as you sit right here, you have the ability to hit your auto guidance engage button. We now have two remotes on here, as opposed to one on our current multifunction handle. And on our current multifunction handle, it's tied into the first or fifth remote. Here, we can set this up to do whichever ones we want. It can be one and two, it can be four or five, whatever combination you want, you can put on those two. We have our hitch control. We have our shuttle shifts of forward and reverse. So you can be going, whether you're in the field working or whether you're going down the road, you can actually go from forward to reverse and it will safely bring the tractor to a stop and automatically reverse the direction in whichever direction you're going. Lastly, on the multifunction handle, you're gonna see these buttons. It's five, six, seven, and eight. Those coincide with the silver strip of buttons, one, two, three, and four. These are buttons that you can program to do any function you want in the tractor. For example, if you're getting into a field situation where the, the field's a little slick and you want your diff locks on, rather than coming from here, over here to turn your diff locks on, you can set this button up for any one of these buttons to engage your diff locks. So it's a quick push, push the button, keeping your hand on the multifunction handle where it needs to be. You can also set this up to answer in the phone call, turn the radio up or down, turn, change the uh, fan speed in the cabin, change the temperature in the cabin set this up truly any any feature in this tractor you can set up on any of these four right. buttons that's really handy just to have it right at the tip of your thumb to very, very much everything. so it's again it, it's all about streamlining this thing and allowing our operators the freedom to customize their operating environment so we got the multifunction handle our silver strip we're going to come in here to the encoder this encoder is very similar to what you see in some vehicles today as a way of navigation if you look up here at the school I'm gonna, what i'm going to do is i'm going to rotate this and what you're going to do is look up at the screen and you're going to see it's a way to bounce between your run screens so you don't have to go up you don't have to ever have to leave your hand have your hand leave the armrest you can just move it through here and it'll, it'll scroll through here so we've got a couple buttons on here as well you can if you want you can touch the encoder and it brings up all this information and then from there you can go in and you can select stuff so if i want to make some changes to my remotes while i'm working you just it's all you do is just depress the uh, encoder and it brings up and you can select from what it is and once you get to a point where we're actually going to physically be making changes it's going to pop up on the screen and from this standpoint you can either hold your finger and drag it you can touch the air or you can move it with the encoder to change your flow once you're done making those changes, you can hit that X if you'd like, or to show the feature of it again, let's go back in here, bring it back up, and if you want to go back to the screen you were on, you just touch the run screen and you're right back. So you have ways of navigating this, there's multiple ways to do it. 
as you can see here. <laughs> we're on camera. So this is the this is the onboard camera that we were talking about. We have one in the hood, and we have one in the back of the cab. This camera on top of the monitor is just meant to kind of simulate the field of view. So if you have it pointing back at us, if he or does that, he's gonna probably want you, to buy you can turn it around. You can see this guy's in front of us talking tractor. So it's really it's really just there as a demonstration, but it's a it's a nice thing to be able to see the field of view. Um, next, let's talk about the remotes. Different remote, much easier to use. We have the ability to, with what I really like about the track, we have the ability to set this up for different users. So farms that not only have multiple units, but multiple people driving them throughout the day. And everybody likes things set up a little differently. For, so for example, if we're talking a grain cart operation, and operator A likes to raise lower the auger to be right here. Operator B likes it to be over here. To do that today, you have to go out and you have to swap hoses, and then you're set up. Here, you have the ability to come in here and hit your settings. I know David This brings up your card page, and you hit the tractor. And then as you come in here, we have configurable controls. So this brings up, this is where you, this is where you configure all of your one through four, five through eight, and then also how you can configure these. And then if there's a joystick, as you saw in the cab of the tractor, how to configure that. So in this case, we can come up here and let's say rear valve one, see how that popped up a color? It there populates it is. a color, so it illuminates it. So let's turn that back off. And let's populate this. And then this one pops up. So this is this is uh, simulator software. And it's still pretty new, so everything's not quite right. But you get the point. No, that's you right. Can, so you, you can change it. change it without yeah. So you can set this up for several operators. You can set this up for several operators with different operations or the same operation. It really gives the the freedom to set this up and run this how you want to run and farm the way you want to farm. You can come in here too. Like I said, you can do the multifunction handle. This is where you would assign these two buttons for your remotes. Again, it's no longer tied to remote one or five. You can assign those to any remote that's on the tractor. And then lastly, the buttons. That's how you come in here and you can assign again any any feature of the tractor, so from your display, your electric hydraulic remotes, engine, suspension, guidance, hitch, um, headland turn, HVAC, lights, media, diff locks, phone, I mean everything on this tractor you can come in here and you can with the push of a button, set this to let's say number one, then every time you push this button, that's going to turn your diff locks on and then turn them off. So set it up how you want to set it up. Okay, next we've got, let's talk about the Pro 1200. We've been messing around with a little bit of that, going back and forth between. We're on the Pro 1200. It's an Android-based operating system, running the Vision Pro operating system. And what, we, what we've done here is we've got a lot of intuity, intuitiveness built into this. It's very user-friendly based on the fact that it's Android-based. So when you start coming around here and making, making adjustments to your tractor, you see a very common logo that you see on your phone, whether it be an iPhone mm -hmm. or an Android, you see a gear. Gears typically mean setting of some sort. You click this, and then again, it brings up your tractor card. So all your information of your this, your tractor, if you've got an implement hooked to it, your guidance, any conditions, all your data, your ISO bus, everything is right here. Again, you can click on your tractor, and you can come in here and you can set up different stuff. If you're gonna set your lights, it brings up a very nice picture the top of the cab, kind of depicting what lights are turned on if you touch them. Again, you're going to set remotes. You come in here and you go to your rear remotes. Select which remote you want to make changes to. And then as you come down here, you can again set your flows, set your timers, turn them off, lock them out, turn it on motor mode. We've redesigned our Headland Management Control, also known as End of Row. We can go into that demo a little bit later, but it's, we've simplified it. Currently, we've never had the ability to edit anything. It's just if, it's, if you do it right, it works great. If you have a little bit of a pause or you kind of forget what you're doing as you're setting it, there's a little bit of an awkward pause. What this does is it gives you the ability to fully edit it. 
As we come through here, we got one more thing I'll talk about, our advanced steering rate. What this does is currently as your tires sit straight on, going full left to right and slow, it's three and a half turns to get full left from center or full right from center. If you turn it to fast, it's a third of a turn of the steering wheel. Wow. So we increase that rate depending on the work you're doing. We also have, once you get over a certain speed for safety reasons, it's gonna kick it in the medium. So it's gonna be more aggressive than slow, but not so aggressive that if you're driving down the road at full speed and your hand slips off the wheel or something like that, or you sneeze or something like that, you're not jacking anything. It's really impressive, the technology. 100%. Everything that this can control. And so, talk one more thing real quick here, is the connectivity standpoint. You know, we've, we've, we've named this the AFS Connect Mac. And the ability now we have to remote in and view the screen from whether it's the owner operator or the dealer to be able to diagnose and troubleshoot over the phone. Again, saving on downtime, making the dealerships more efficient, making the customers more efficient. So we have the ability if the, you know, the other thing I talked about earlier is freedom from complicated and proprietary software. Being this is Android, this is an open-based system, and the customer owns the data. Okay? We, don't, we don't own it, we don't have the rights to it, the customer owns their data. So when you set this up, the customer determines who has rights to be able to even request logging in, and then if they have the rights to request it, it will still have a pop-up that comes on the screen it says, do you, do you accept or reject so-and-so to come in and be able to view your screen? So at that point, you can still reject it if you don't recognize it. What happens is when you accept it, there's an orange box that will populate on the outside of the screen, and that's the driver's indicator that somebody is watching the screen. From there, you can call and you can say, okay, hey, you know, you're having trouble setting your hydraulic remotes. Let me walk you through that. Touch the gear. Okay. Now touch the tractor. Oh, there it is, as a remote. Yeah, I can figure it out from here. So it's a way to help a new user very easily navigate through it. The other big advantage is, from a dealership standpoint, if you have a fault code that comes up and you don't recognize it or whatever, the dealer service manager can remote in and say, okay, hey, go click on the fault tab up here. So you come up here, it brings up any faults or warnings. Now you can click on it, and it actually will come through and give you what it is, the occurrences, any information, again, this is experimental uh, simulator software, so some of these numbers are kind of way out of whack, but it, re it really it really drives the point home of, of how much information is given. Well, it's nice that if you're down and you're trying to plan a crop, you don't have to wait for a service right. truck. Right, exactly. Right so to that. that, you know, the, the dealer can say, okay, yeah, okay, I recognize that code, I know what that is. Uh, for example, let's say I think it's a steering wheel angle sensor. So you come back here, he's gonna walk you through, you're gonna come up here, then you're going to go to diagnostics. We have onboard diagnostics. Come into the vehicle. And then it's going to come down to monitor. And if we had a steering wheel, and this is a live tractor, you'd have a voltage being displayed right here for the wheel angle sensor. You can turn it left and right. When you turn it left, you should see a drop in voltage. When you turn it right, you should see an increase in voltage. If there's ever a break in that, that's an indication the sensor is bad. So that all that diagnostics can be done over the phone, over the air, so that when that technician leaves, he's coming out to fix the problem there. He knows what it is. What it is. He's not coming out there having to stop the tractor, set it up, understand, okay, well, this is what it should be. Now let me go verify it by voltmeter. It's done. He shows up with a part. It's a quick fix. Recalibration and you're back, you're back rolling again. Downtime is what this thing is meant to eliminate. That, in a, in a real quick gist, is the new AFS Connect Max. Well, it's very, very impressive. And Nate, I appreciate your time taking me through it. Um, I'm excited to see these out in the field. So me too. We'll Thank start you. seeing them this fall for 2020 model year. Oh, uh, we'll actually have them. To, we're taking them on a tour this spring. And then we'll have them out to our dealers uh, doing demos all summer long. So really get it out there for the customers to see and be able to really get excited about it. Had a lot of great response. I mean, you can see this is day three and our booth is still really, really busy. Um, a lot of people are excited about this tractor. So we're looking to keep that excitement going and get this in the hands of the guys that can really utilize the technology. Sounds good. It'll awesome. be exciting to see them up there. Thanks Thank you a lot. very much.